amazing intro. See, there they go. What up, y'all? Hey, you sure? When'd you get in here? Because a whole bunch of stuff happened. <laughs> so, again, let me start off by saying happy Black History Month. Um, happy being black and amazing. And the word for the day for Black History Month mm -hmm. is going to be niggas. Do you know what that word means? Niggas. Isn't it king? Yes, it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you, my niggas. That's, you know, it's funny. That's why uh, I I still say, you know, niggas, but I spell it like that. Yeah. Yep. I, I for sure do. Look at you. Yeah, you know, I've been, my I've little been niggas. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... He sure said, I heard a little, had the phone up to my ear. You know what he was probably trying to do? You know how somebody butt dial you and you'd be like, <laughs> okay, nothing. Just listening to That's stuff. what he sure was doing. Like, what's about to happen? Yeah, but you know. They know they on the air. He probably thought we ain't know we was on the air. He sure, I've, you know, I've been having some days recently. And he sure, I did get your email. Uh, um, So I will check that out. I had I didn't listen to it. I didn't want to respond without doing it. We heard you, but it sounded like you were whispering info. <laughs> we was telling secrets. <laughs> All right, we getting into it. I just had like, to Like, for real, this is mad distracting. I need you to yo, together. Yo, this is, listen, I want people to come to this channel and Excuse feel, me, seeing popcorn. feel the behind the scenes mm -hmm. versus, you know, you know, like all them people be acting like they got all that stuff together. But if it wasn't for technology, you see how I did that right there, then they will be nothing. Okay? What's up, y'all? Welcome to Technically Speaking. I'm your host, Shante Wayans, and this is... Marche Nicole. How? And it is <laughs> Black History Month. Happy Black History Month, y'all. Since it wasn't clear, we're going to start off, because it's the first day, especially <laughs> Black History Month, we're going to hit you with a little... Marche Black Facts. Yes, for the Black Facts. So my first Black Facts. Well, my not first. Well, this is the first one for Black History Month, right? And it's Black Facts and Technology. Mm -hmm. So mine is what happened? Oh yes, George. They can see that. Yeah, George Washington no. Carver. They can't. Now they can't. Okay, that's George Washington Carver. So George Washington Carver. Interesting fun fact. I went to PS40 in Brooklyn, New York. Best Buy. Shout out to Best Buy Brooklyn. Okay. I went to PS40, and it was also called, called George Washington Carver Public mm -hmm. School. And he is not just famous for peanuts, y'all. You know, did you know that's what he was? That's what people know him for is George is Washington Carver. Is the what well, the what? I said the peanuts. Okay. <laughs> Pause. <That's> <laughs> we don't make jokes during Black History Month now. In uh, March, March 1st, it's all hands down. So um, he's not just famous for peanuts. So I went down this rabbit hole of his life. Like, oh, my God, you was, he was such an interesting um, person. Any black person born at that time um, that made the headlines to me was super interesting because of what was going on at that time. Right. And for starters, he was born into slavery, right? His parents... And he was born sometime in the mid-1860s. They don't know his exact date because they didn't really care about us back then. Mm -hmm. So that was important information. Um, but he was born sometime in the mid-80s, right before slavery was abolished, which mm -hmm. happened in 1865. So they think he was around, you know, probably mid-1960. Anyway, his father died before he was born, mm -hmm. right? And then his, he, his mother, and his brother were kidnapped in the middle of the night. By captors. Now, originally, <laughs> <laughs> you, you sound like you telling me the tea about. Originally, uh, his he Jonathan his Nicholas. mama, his daddy, and his brother was bought for seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred dollars. All three of them. It and, was worth. And she more. was pregnant. Mm -hmm. uh, Damn. And, yeah. So then, when in the middle of the night, someone stole the mama, the son, and the other son, and the the uh, his his slave owner. Oh, I hate that term. Yeah. I'm mad. That's like that was really a thing. The person who enslaved him, okay, mm -hmm. um, actually really, really loved them and the family. So he paid oh. for someone to go find them. Um, and he did. He found them, but he only found George. Okay. And George. Because they separated them. Of course. Mm -hmm. So George wound up back with, oh, they found the brother too. 
Okay. They didn't find the mom. Okay. Um, and the well, he didn't get the mom. Let me just say that. And um, he 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 was raised by his previous captor. The one that loved him. Yeah. He found him, got him back home, raised him and his brother, him and his wife, as their own children. They never had children of their own, so they raised him and gave him the last name Carver, mm -hmm. which is how he got that name. <sighs> anyway, so, um, yeah. I like that fact. Yeah, and also, um, so he, he went on to have uh, do all these prominent things. So around that time, the crops were really fucked up mm -hmm. because there was this beetle that was going around, this new beetle. Mm -hmm. And the beetle was killing all the crops. And, you know, back in the day, they didn't have the technology they got today. Mm -hmm. But thanks to him, but that kinda he, sound like, you he, know, the, the he, he, he started this new um, prop crop thing i i forget the name y'all but i'm trying to get to the real good stuff you know he started the, the the crop thing and it it uh like re like fixed the crops like it fixed the soil oh nice nice so the crops were saved a lot of farmers were back into business after things so he really helped a lot of people and he helped the the trading with mm -hmm. peanuts and all that stuff so he was famous for so many different things or known and accredited for so many different things aside from just peanuts he he saved a lot of probably lives by um, fixing this whole crop situation because, you know, they wasn't nothing without, without us, honey. Right. Okay, they would have just died out. I wish I wish they, like, what happened? Did you tell them the secret? You think you told them what the ingredients were? What you mean? In, in doing that. Or they watched him or they made him tell them? Well, he, he lived a long life. And they, they was just rocking with him, right? They was, so yeah, who so. Who did he pass it down to is what I'm saying. Oh, I don't know. You know, they probably just, what do you mean? Like, you can't hold on to stuff forever. We started a lot of stuff. We, we did start a lot. We got, and we, you know, they stole a lot of, of ideas and information because, like, I tell people all the time, when they took, um, uh, when they took the Africans from Africa during the slave trade, it, you, they didn't just, they didn't take slaves, right? When they got there, those people were not slaves. They took doctors, lawyers, engineers, uh, you know, um, People, carpenters, they took people that were in, in businesses and building towns and what, what they show us Africa looks like on TV is not what Africa is. So right. they so when they took these people, they, they took the good ones. Right. You know, they wasn't taking scraps. And I don't mean it like that, but y'all know what I mean. Right. So. Damn. Okay. That was so black that was your black, one. black fact black, black, of the week. Black fact. Happy Black History Month, y'all. Okay. Let's get into... The technology, knowledge outside. And make sure y'all tell somebody that, like, y'all knew that information. Like, yeah. did you know? Yeah. You know, keep, spread keep the it, information. Keep it going. That's what we like to do now. Every, uh, we try to do it every day, but every day we'll, uh, we go to script. Uh, not script. And uh, before every day we'll do like a what have you learned new today? When we end the show, I, remind me, um, to tell you guys, he had these, he was really, um, like a philanthropist. He, he was really wise and he wanted peace and, and unity and all that kind of stuff. So remind me of his, like, he has his own, like, commandments that he wrote. And just remind me. It's good, y'all. It's good stuff. All right. Mm. Yeah. We mm. want to we wanna come in and go out on it. So I like it. Let's I see you in here, each to short. Andromeda, leave my life. Uh, spicy original. Hi, Andromeda. <laughs> East short. What up, what up, y'all? Andromeda. Andromeda. Is that what I call it? Uh -huh. Shut up. Andromeda. All right, y'all. Uh, so we're going to go into some some interesting stuff this time. Um, first off, I mm -hmm. want to go into uh, world's first hybrid human monkey created in what? China. <laughs> Science reveals. Why? <laughs> Why what? Why? Why we got... Why we need a human... You know what they're going to have next? Human puppies. Hey, they, we on to something. No. I wouldn't mind being able is to. Is that the human monkey? Mm hmm Look like a regular this monkey to first. me. What he do? I don't know. We're going to watch the video. You said what he do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, what's so special about his hybrid ass? There's Can a he lag talk? And, uh, there's a lag in them, so I'm trying to wait. Dang it. Hold on. It's the it's the PC, you know. You're man? welcome, Andromeda, for the history chat. You know, I'm just trying to spread the knowledge. Each one, teach oh, one. Andromeda just leave the life. <laughs> Andromeda be 
all up in here supporting. Dang. All right. So this is the human monkey hybrid. I want to check out this video uh, real quick because they got it up. And is it real quick? Yeah. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> So it didn't really happen. No, it did happen. <laughs> it's, it said, but scientists said something. The freaking what? thing popped up. You didn't see that? You know what, y'all? Next time, I'm going to make sure Shantae has all her, um, her no, homework. No, it said, that's what it said. It was the Wait, first. Wait, we don't even know what the last word was. Look, look, <laughs> it's coming up. The ex experiment, because it's lagging on their end. But stop before the... Why the hybrid could potentially have been born, but the scientist said human. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> well. So, th so that was clickbait, basically. Pretty much. And you fell right into the I trap. I sure did fall into it, but I'll tell you why I fell into it. They they are doing these types of things. I think, look, they are really doing this. They start already started with dogs. I mean, we got a golden doodle. And you know, when I think about stuff like that, because you know, my mom has a pacemaker, right? Mm -hmm. My mom and grandma. grandma. This is why I was hiking today because heart failure runs in the family, honey. But um, they both have pacemakers. And I think about. So what's going to happen? Like, is it always because like my grandmother's pacemaker, her heart does stop and it shocks her her back to life. And I'm like, so when y'all go? My grandmother is so tired, y'all. She is going to be 93 <laughs> in, in April. And she is ready? like, please <laughs> let me go. <laughs> like that, that's like, when you start going like, how come it ain't that, that they time? Like, how come it was this person's time? Right. And grandma's sitting here like, really? <laughs> She's like, I'll take that spot. Grandma don't care about no new babies. She don't <laughs> care about nobody else's funerals no more. She'll be like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so so spicy original. That's what I was saying. Uh, first of all, you don't just put it out as clickbait if you're not gonna try to continue that. You know, there's a evil Knievel in a basement right now that took that uh, recipe and is in his basement creating the first human monkey hybrid. I think I think they have spicy original. Right, good point. I think that they already have uh, because if they can clone. Huh? A human uh, monkey? If, yeah, if they, well, no, no. If they can clone hu um, whole, like, chickens, they publicly told us that they've cloned goats, chickens, pigs. Dogs. Right? Publicly. That's just what they publicly have they, told us. They say they don't That's like That's not it. what they have not told us that they've cloned, right? Yeah. Why wouldn't they be able to clone a kidney or a liver? So I'm, I'm absolutely certain that we have the technology to clone organs mm -hmm. there's a reason why they're not doing it there's a reek because pharmaceuticals wouldn't make no money you know what i mean like a lot of the health the even the health industry is booming right now because everybody's on this new you know trend of of self-care yeah but I, so, I think they're doing uh that's what we're missing i think it's a chicken poster ha. <laughs> 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 i was like something is <laughs> something's off. off um anyway sorry uh uh um, so, I, like I was saying, I I'm sure that they're they are cloning body parts out here. Why oh. they're not making it out uh, available to the general public? Yeah, I was gonna say that's that's already happening. They're doing they're doing so many stuff. They I told you they tried to do the head transplant. Um, they already like they're making like legs, and I need to find this video because I seen. Um, I mean, you know, it's, it's technical, obviously, because it's uh, machine machinery attached. But I seen this video and the guy had no arms and no legs and they put arms on him and he could move his hands mm. and then they put legs on it. I mean, it was the craziest thing that I've seen. I'm going to try to look that up in a second, mm. but uh, they they're already doing this. They mm -hmm. this is the next one I'm going to go to, which is why I brought that up in the first place, because now uh, they're saying this is the this is the second it's successful. They're still in tr uh experimenting with it right now the world's first brain implant successfully treats resistant depression in a patient wait a minute <laughs> hey. stop the press <laughs>
Maybe the maybe the title is misleading, but what it what I just tell me read what you read and I'm gonna tell you tells me that to treat resistant depression mm-hmm. in the patient, mm-hmm. they did a brain transplant. So they implant. So like, they implant. Oh, implant. Not Ooh, a bra- no, no, no. Jesus. No, I'm about no, to no. say, I te- take me to the king. No, no, no. Okay. So, all right. Sorry. <laughs> take me to the king. Um, I mean, they might as well just do the whole head transplant uh, implant. on it. Implant. Interesting. So I mean, y'all implant stuff in y'all uterus what? for birth control. Oh, you. Oh, wow. That's right. Right. So, so basically, they're saying it's called uh, in the brain, you know, the. The tissue, it's a cerebrum. Uh, there's there's a stuff underneath it, mm-hmm. and each you know it's like uh, the brain is like you know a job, a team of people doing one job collectively, but all having their own jobs to do. So mm. where where this will happen is called the hypothalamus. 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 Apple waffle, boy. <laughs> <laughs> and it is about the size of a pearl. Uh-huh. Um, di- uh, it directs a multitude of important functions. So I'm reading straight from uh, this is uh, gov- government health uh, site. So it wakes you up in the morning and it gets the adrenaline flowing during a test or a job interview. And it also is an, an important emotional center. Uh, controlling That's the molecules that make you feel wait, exhilarated. Th- these, this is what's already angry. in our body. The hypothalamus. Yes. What is the thing called? The the implant? Like where where is the implant? So it's in this area. So they, yeah, where they the would try to. Imp- this is the part, I, and I, I'm saying this because I just I've read the different functions in the brain, and this mm. is the one that controls. It's the exhilarating anger, uh, unhappy. Um, so that's that's the major clearinghouse for information and right. all those things for the spinal cord, et cetera, et cetera. So, Child. yeah, so basically there's this chick, Sarah, uh, who's supposedly been depressed for uh, <laughs> since she was a kid. And um, this was the first treatment because they're saying medicine and stuff like that. Like, I know you've seen people take medicine, but it not it doesn't always cure them or they get tolerant of it. And then you have to like. So I wonder it. why they wouldn't. Is this immoral? Is it? Because, you know, I say stuff out loud and forget <laughs> about the Internet. Is this immoral if they took people, example, Skid Row, mm-hmm. volunteers? No, because I guess that's kind of like uh, being a predator to a community that can't really help themselves. Because I was going to say, like, what if you use them as, like, trials for stuff like this? Because it's coming, right? Clearly it's coming and it's here. Mm-hmm. So the problem is because like, couldn't you control like the crazy on the street? It would be amazing. It would be amazing if they would do that. But I think so to, to, for Ooh. this, for <laughs> this experiment alone, I would go. That's a great idea. Right. To find those people mentally um, that need to be mentally evaluated and try on them. For the most part, though, scientists don't like um, using people who's already affected. Like nobody's gonna come and try a drug on me or a treatment because I drank one last shot. So what they, so what they, I don't understand. So how would they know? So if they want. I mean, they, for sure they'll test you, but they they'll want like a pure body. It's almost like you know. Oh, they can't use me, honey. <laughs> <laughs> they can't use me. You know me. what's scary about those implants, though, because no matter what, your body's your body, right? Your mm-hmm. body's gonna work and do what it does to keep you alive and to protect you Mm -hmm. until you are diseased, right? So if, for example, I'm not here to scare you. This is just facts, fact checkers. If a lot of, a lot of women get the, like I said, the birth control implants Mm -hmm. and it causes a lot of medical issues. One is that they move inside of your body. Mm -hmm. So they go from Mm -hmm. one place to another um, sometimes they get lost and they don't know where they are and they can travel to your lung, your heart, you know, different different parts of your body where it can literally kill you. Right. And then another um, con of those implants are that uh, sometimes people form tumors around them and they have removed some of those implants and tumors that have formed hair and teeth at mm-hmm. this point. 
So it's like, imagine it does Everything that and it does that in your freaking brain. Because, we you know, we know brain tumors cause behavior issues, too. Right, right. So it's like, maybe I already got some out here. Maybe we do. I mean, they. I Turn feel around. like they're going to they gonna try to put the chip in if they can. What happened? I'm just making sure. I thought it was BB. Oh, chip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. You know what, y'all? I got clients, I, so as y'all may or may not know, I'm a hairstylist. And I have a lot of clients that sit in my chair. I've told you this before, and they sit down, and they don't tell me that there's certain things in their head, mm. right? Like, like, not bruises, but I can show you. I have an album of them. I won't show y'all, but um, but anyway, they don't know where it came from. I just had a girl the other day, and I was washing her hair, and she was like, ow. And I'm like, what's going on? She was like, I don't know. For the, I, for the past few years, I've had this, like, weird spot back here. And I was like, what? And she said she's never seen it, but she's been told that it was there. And I'm like, nobody ever took a picture and showed right. you? You took an, a mirror? She was like, no. And I took a picture, and I was like, I can't, I can't identify what it is. I've been doing hair for 20 years. I yeah. cannot identify what this is. It just looks like something wasn't planted. And skin grew over it. <laughs> he just said, did you uh, go to the hospital recently or anything like that? Um, um, I think, uh, <laughs> I mean, I think all of that is possible. And the crazy thing is. This should be called the conspiracy <laughs> theory <I'm> speaking. <laughs> <laughs> this is really like, like a lot of people could probably really benefit from this, right? But then there's those people that's going to reject it. And that's, that's the thing. Like not everything is made for everybody. So I think. That's the scariest part of it all, because you. What can if have somebody five said? What if somebody said you can get an implant for like whatever your insecurity is, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say you can't change something, you can't afford to change something. This is just a girl. My head, my brain is crazy. Mm -hmm. Let's say you can have an implant, an implant not to eat, overeat, or an implant not to lie, or mm -hmm. not to do drugs, or not to drink, or not to cheat what if you can have an implant to do those things would you consider it yeah i think a lot of people would i mean you said like two things that i don't know people would be like yeah like what like eat no yeah. like if you were overweight mm -hmm. and you you know you're like okay i can't afford um you know weight loss surgery or i don't I, i'm not losing weight the regular way you know not regular but um working out eating habits and whatnot so if I get this chip that prevents me from having the urges that tell my brain that I'm hungry, would you do it? Because we all be like, I would never do that until it's something that piques us. And you'd be like, ooh. But it has to be like, it has to be life-threatening. Because you're telling, I'm pretty sure like a crack? lot of people didn't get, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of people didn't get the surgery with the stomach because they like, they, they think it's going to shrink. And they was like, you know what? I need to get my life together. And then they was like, but I ain't going to be able to eat this anymore. And it was like, you know what? I've lived this long as is. That's how I would feel. I don't know. It depends what you ask me that I had to let go. That I'll be like, I'm not. But or it could be fearless. I, I like, let, let me give I you like this that. chip to make you fearless. I like that. But would it be bad? Like, I'll be too fearless? Yeah. You'd be like, no. shut the fuck up. That's... <laughs> Be the wrong fear. <laughs> I wish you would, gang bangers, <laughs> come in my face right now. <laughs> this is my hood now. Oh Lord! Have somebody get beat the hell up, man. Mm -hmm. But the hair still laid. <laughs> Spicy said, <laughs> "Hit the hair." But the hair still laid. Yes, I will lay that hair right over that chip, honey. And act like I ain't never seen it. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know why I went home and I just felt something hot right here. Because <laughs> the heat hitting the metal. Uh, that's crazy. You though. want me to show you? I'm not going to show you. Show me after because you're going to have me forget about them and be like, what was going on? I know, right? And they're going to be like, show us. I know. I gonna, can't do that. And then you're going to get sued. Somebody head no, it's the not their face. People do that all the time. I said from the head. I <laughs> think I'm like, that is Cherie's head. <laughs> um, sh anyway, sh uh, just came in to smash. Hey, Jennifer, we appreciate Thank that Thank you, Jennifer. Smash. Let me do the same, because I didn't. You, did y'all like the video? <laughs> what? Do I want to? Oh. He said, try taking the beat out. 
So I don't know if you heard about this, but uh, they got Chat GPT AI technology since school scrambling to preserve learning. Huh? So Chat uh, GPT, a free, easy. Come on, come on, advertisement. It's a free and easy to use AI search tool. Hit the ground running when it launched to the public in November. A user, a user types in a question and chat GPT spits back out an easily understandable answer in an essay format. Where were you in 1992? So in other words. So in other words, if you don't want to write an essay, you trying to go out with your friends and your mom say you can't go outside or you can't go on your phone, your iPad, or video gaming until you finish your essay, you could just go and chat GPT and be like, hey, mom, you got a printer? I feel like if you're smart enough to do that, <laughs> and, you know, some people work smart, some people work hard. And I feel like it depends on what age and what it is, you know, as long as you're not... A nurse buying a degree, right? <laughs> with that GPA, with GPT, but but it's dumbing us down too. Imagine but it's not. You keep saying that, but we are moving in a completely We're different need direction. Knowledge implant soon. That's what our parents said about us. And look at where technology has gone. Now they left behind, and now they dumb on the technology bracket. That, that's not what I'm talking about. I was talking about, oh, we smart as hell. We're learning how to use things easily for us. <laughs> but in a minute, we're going to be sitting on our couches, just running on the treadmill like this in our VR suits. And uh, <laughs> we're we going to all be out of shape and all that stuff. We're going to have to because all this technology is going to kill the earth anyway. That's we ain't going to be able to go outside and breathe this what air. What if technology just shuts down one day? What if everything, what if we have a blackout? What can, blackout my student loans. <laughs> I thought. Blackout. I, I wipe thought out everybody's bank account. I thought bidding was taking care of that. Bidding? Mm -hmm. <laughs> bidding sleep. Trying to watch <laughs> words that I say. Bidding, so. they busy, like, sending money to everybody else. Anyway, mm -hmm. hey, Philly made it in. <laughs> That's how you say it. Smooth more. You heard about the uh, exclusive surveillance footage, the Tesla crash on the Bay Bridge. Mm -mm. They had. Uh, mm -mm. This is <laughs> so Elon. Ah, scrolls. Let me see. Elon Musk. Um, yeah, Elon Musk announces self-driving feature, and then there was a whole crash um, in the Bay Area. It was like an eight-car pileup. Which is, you know, again, I say this a lot. Mm -mm. Do not try the first time. Don't be the Bruh. first one to get stuff. And that's where you're going to do with that? You're going to take that chance in a tunnel? But I, I don't, you, you, you driving. I don't um, take it nowhere. I got to find a video because there's a video of them driving. Him drive. Oh, here it go. Bam. Driving just fine. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, it just stopped. So you you don't know. What if he was driving for like an hour? That's crazy. The car just stopped. Right. Yep. And then all those cars. Ah. Uh, they still coming. Ah. Uh, and you know that's from people being on their goddamn phone. Mm, mm, so mm. all those cars just piled up like that. I'm like. Damn, son. I'm good on a self-driving car. I gave up that Tesla dream a long time ago. I'm like, I'm good. Why? They fold like foil. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. They do fold like foil. I mean, I they literally. Got like Honda gear. I if I get a Tesla, it'll it'll be at a time in my life where I'm I'm only driving to the grocery store and mm. Target to get outside, right? I ain't got to take no freeway. It'll probably take me five minutes to get there. That's the kind of driving I want to do. Well, you don't just drive really fast? Because I'm not buying you no expensive-ass car just to go across the street. Why not? That's stupid. Why is it? I'm going to get you a scooter. 
Oh, is that a tough one for them? Absolutely. <laughs> only the best. <laughs> only the best. <laughs> All right, let's move on before we get out of here, unless you have something else to talk about. But um, this is pretty much the last topic. I want to talk about something real quick because the ad just came up. So this is God telling me to sp- talk to y'all, right? Okay. Um, you might want to put my cash app up there because this is a fresh milk. I'm going to start making my own almond milk mm-hmm. and, and, and cashew milk and coconut milk because – what you get from the store is not what you get from the store. And every time I turn over, first of all, I spend so much time in the grocery store reading the back of labels, and I'm over it. Just give me almonds and water and leave me alone. And you're going to make it yourself? So I'm going to make it myself. So yeah, if y'all want to donate, if y'all want to donate, I'll make y'all some almond milk. Just get me the almond milk maker. Just donate to my cash app, $5 at a time. Let's support a black business that's Marche nicole mm-hmm, mm-hmm. is it Marche dot nicole which what On, my uh, cash app it's just Marche nicole mm-hmm. you know let's i'll make y'all some almond milk you're gonna have to soon read uh, y'all labels because they they killing us out here with this bioengineer speaking of technology everything no, that you ahead. you turn around you turn your food around the box. I was going to make some Jiffy blueberry muffins the other day. Jiffy. We all grew up on Jiffy cornbread mix. And I turned the shit around and it was like made from bioengineered ingredients. And I was like, why? It's cornmeal and freaking blueberries. What part of this <laughs> did you need to bioengineer? And add some stuff in. There's so many things. We, that we add a little cancer, a little bit of diabetes. Unnecessarily. Because anything that we get. Even if it's healthy, I feel like we add a little dab of what we like in it. That's some bullshit. It's un- it's it's to get us more addicted, and I don't need to be addicted to Jiffy corn muffin mix. Anyway, it is good though. It's not I not b- bioengineered. Jiffy good. pop. No, that's just popcorn. What you saying, drop? <laughs> I keep saying I'm going to make my own almond milk. In the Girl, beginning. get you the um, get your little almond milk maker. You know, I'm gonna just treat myself. It's not even expensive. Buy it on Instagram. You get like twenty percent off through Instagram. Let me stop. Then you're gonna charge y'all to get almond milk. You see what's happening? No, I'll just charge y'all shipping. I'll make you some almond milk. Send me some money, <laughs> baby. <laughs> baby. Oh my gosh! Speaking of technology, oh oat milk. Mm-hmm. This is not the <laughs> segue to it at all, but mm-hmm. this is in general. D- general Jerome collects loose DNA from Swain Tree Branch. Well, whose DNA? Whoever's DNA is on there. They trying to put you at the scene of the crime. Ah, uh, that's what it seemed like. Girl. The scene of the mother freaking crime. Girl. I was like, how does that? So I guess, well, yeah, I guess if the tree is swaying like this and you're trying to, but at this why? point, there should what, be no murderers. What is the what is the article telling us? Why is what's the reason? What if I it's, it has nothing to do with anything? <laughs> <laughs> Just collecting it's, DNA. It's, well, it's, it's external, left behind by animals. So they started it off with that because it's like, you know, animals looking to see the way it's going up and. Do you know from your stuff. DNA, I could Dead take, I could take your hair, and I could, if I didn't know you, I could be able to tell your race, your complexion, your eye color, your blood type. By taking my hair? Yeah, or strand of hair. Oh. Mm, and I could tell you if you smoke weed. Yeah, your DNA, your hair holds a lot of your DNA. It says a lot of hair. Yeah, girl. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is pretty interesting. This is good to know. Um, I'm I'm about ready to wrap it up. Uh, yeah, I gotta edit that first 15 minutes. <laughs> 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 the red is all over the place. I'm looking at the lighting. I'm looking at all these things, and I'm going. We just really wanted to get back in the groove with it. Yeah, we had a busy day, consistent. but we wanted to get this out. Sorry, yeah. y'all. We no. made it, and y'all made it. Thank you. We made it. Y'all made it, and we will be back next week. But technically speaking, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Marche, what you got going on? So, speaking of black-owned businesses, you know what? Oh, and you were supposed to tell them. Oh, my, um, you want to tell them? No, on my own. You tell them. Oh. You see what I'm doing? Oh, oh here you go. So, um, this month, I will be promoting my healing elixir. It's available at MarcheNicole.com. And this is like, it's a, it comes in a dropper. 
And this is your, I call it nature's neosporin. So you could put this on everything like cuts, burns, scrapes, um, um, wing worms, uh, athlete's foot, fungus, infe- you know, fungal infections, um, all kind of things. Like I put it in my ear the other day because I felt like I was coming down with an ear infection. Um, and I just put it on the cotton swab and twirled it around my ear and boom, I'm good. Like it's just, it's just amazing for everything. It's something that you need to have in your cabinet. And it is $40 online, but I'm going to be giving a 25% discount for Black History Month okay. and just put, um, t- technically speaking, is the promo code. Hey. Okay. Check it out, man. It's thank bomb. It's so good. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Yeah, thank y'all so much. Also, uh, upcoming shows, I'm headlining February 6th at the Flappers Comedy Club in Bourbon, California. Mm-hmm. Really want y'all to come out and support that. February 10th to the 11th, mm-hmm. I will be at in Atlanta at the Uptown Comedy Corner. Shouty. Four, day, four shows. And then March 2nd to the 4th, I'll be at Washington, D.C., the D.C. Comedy Loft. Get your tickets, man. Link tree, backslash C Wayne. You can find all that in the description below. And check me out Monday through Friday streaming on Caffeine. Yes. We appreciate y'all, man. We will be back and better than ever. Please. <laughs> Psych. We're back, y'all. What? <laughs> Because it's not coming up. (laughs) Yeah. All right, screw it. I'm going to just end like that.